Hi, this is Alan. This is a screencast video on how to make a Prezi. So first thing you're going to do in your URL window, you're going to go up to the top and write Prezi, P-R-E-Z-I dot com. You'll come to a screen that looks like this, and you want to sign up if you've never made one before. So it's in the top right-hand corner over here on the right. And you're going to click on this. If you scroll down, you're going to notice that teachers have special privileges. So if you go down here, and where it says student teacher license, you can hit go. Um, and you'll see that you get a lot of stuff free. So it's EDU. Um, you don't get the desktop or premium support, but you get a lot more space. And that's the only restriction. You know, you can make an unlimited number of Prezi's as long as you fit within 100 megabytes, which is quite a bit. So you're going to hit get. And the only thing here is that you have to kind of sign up with your school email. So for mine, it's alan.tang at smusc.org. It'll send me a verification email. I want to make sure I double check my spam folder and, you know, and make sure that, you know, it sends it automatically and that it's there. Okay, once I do that, so I already have an account. I'm going to log in and... You know, and then I'll come to a window which shows all of my Prezi's. You know, getting started is really easy. Um, you know, one of the advantages of Prezi is, you know, A, it's online. Um, so that no matter what device, even your, your phone, you could access your Prezi and display it. And if you have access to an LCD projector, you can project it. So to start one, all I'd have to do is hit New Prezi, give it a name. So here's my example Prezi and hit you know i don't have to give it a description i can just hit new prezi and it's gonna you know give me the winding key you can notice at the bottom that it says for educators use only so that's why you know it shows i have an educator account and all i have to do is you know click anywhere and add an id as it says so you know if there's something existing i can edit it by hitting the screen double click and so here is my Prezi. Um, I can change the font if I want. So if I want to look at the background and colors, I'm going to go to colors. Um, there's some pre-selected ones. Um, let's see, I want this blue one. I can just hit that. It gives it the color. I want this look. You know, I could do that. Um, or I can customize and kind of create my own. So, you know, depending on what kind of look I want. So let's say I picked one. Next thing I can do is I can size or undersize. So if I grab on this uh, rotating kind of disc, if I pull it this way and that way, it makes it bigger or smaller. I mean, it rotates it from side to side. If I want it bigger, you know, I can press this button. If I want it smaller, I kind of press this button. Um, and then I can move it around. If I take the hand, I move it from side to side. Now, if I just want to create something new, I just click and part one um, you know I can change the color so this is the body so you can see the little arrow here I can make it title if I want the same size as my title I can make it title so this is a different way I can control within the fonts um, hit OK and then it's there and I can do the same thing I can make it bigger I can make it smaller or I can rotate around so you know I have those features to anything if I want to add an image I just go to insert and you know it makes it pretty e easy an image on my computer i just hit image um and i hit select files and it's going to take me onto my library so if i go into my pictures um and i know i have an image somewhere um i really want this ferris bueller image i'm going to hit ok it's going to upload my image and i can do the same things as i did with anything else i can make it smaller I can make it bigger and I can rotate. So, you know, those are kind of the features I have. If I grab the hand key, it moves it around here. Now, you know, as you saw earlier, you can also insert YouTube videos. So if I went to YouTube and I knew that there was a particular YouTube video I wanted, I could just copy the URL, go back to my YouTube, paste it, hit insert, and it's going to put my video inside my Prezi so that I can go with it. So now, you know, I've gone over how to kind of create images, how
how to upload images. Um, you could, you know, find an image. So, um, you know, I could just do a Google search. So, um, say I wanted a car, do a search. It's been download car, pick one, and OK. And, you know, that's a really quick way to do kind of an image um, that way. And so the last thing is my path. So this is where, you know, my Prezi starts and ends. And so this is where I can choose what I'm going to see first. So you know, here first, the second part, I want part one. Then I want to go to this image, and then I want to end with my video. So, you know, that's the way. Now, if I wanted to add something else, I can take, you know, one of these middle points and drag it to something else. So let's say I want to show this car picture in between. So notice how it's in between this and this now. Or I could delete all and start over. So that's kind of Prezi in a nutshell. Um, if I hit save. You know, now I have my Prezi. If I want to start playing it, I go to show. And I start here, go there, go there, go there, and end with my video. Hello, my name is Daniel Pink. I'm a contributing editor at Wired, and this is a presentation.